So I decided to get emerald crabs for the innovative 40 gallon tank because of all of the nasty bubble algae. And I called up my friend Danny at Ocean Avenue. He didn't have any emerald crabs. So I'm like, oh, what do I do? I really want to get them today so I can record it uh, and take you guys along with me. And I thought, hey, why don't I go check out this fish store and like bring back all the memories. Okay, so there used to be this store here in Dallas called Apex Aquariums and it used to be my to-go-to fish store. In fact, there was a person there that actually encouraged me to start the hobby and was pretty much my reefing sensei. They, you know, held my hand and took me all through all of those newbie mistakes that everybody makes and I mean, he was the person who really encouraged me to actually start this hobby. You know, once I moved away from that area and I didn't go as much, I heard that it actually closed down. I never got to say goodbye, but recently I saw that it was open again and, you know, rebranded under a different name, but it's open again. So I thought, heck, let's go check out this place, get some emerald crabs, hopefully say hi to my sensei and thank him. Um, I'm kind of in a rush though. I hope I actually make it uh, to the store in time. So I'm really excited right now. Hopefully he's there. Hopefully he's there. Fingers crossed. Uh, I was hoping you would be here actually. So um, I don't know if you remember me, but you got me into this hobby. Yeah, remember. You remember me? Oh, oh my gosh! Like it's been a long time though. It's been so long. So I heard that you guys were like rebranded or something. New, new owner. New owner. I was like, once I found out, I was like, I have to go back and hopefully see you and thank you. Oh, I love the young tank. I really want to get one for my tank too. He's a cutie. I kept the jam and I kept the storm, the most storm. The storm, yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. I really I want to Right. I was like, the coral stuff I can regrow. Right. Too. Right. But, but these guys, man, I had for a while. Um, you know, if you remember that display that you had here uh, in the old store, yeah. remember how like a coral that covered the rock? What was it? Um, like a sym symposium. symposium. Yeah. <laughs> I remember I always used to want a piece and yeah. you're like, no, 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 yeah. don't add it, don't add it. Yeah, yeah now I understand because I added right. a lot of Xenia yeah. and it took over. And I mean, I'm still struggling to take that on my tank. Yeah. Like, it requires it a over. lot. Yeah. yeah, so that was like the best thing that you ever did for me was not letting me give some of that coral. Certain, yeah, certain corals, we know customer wants it, mm -hmm. but we do have to tell them right. what's, what to expect in the future from it. Right. If it's up to you, your tank, you want to add it, you add it. Right. But we still have to tell them, you know? Oh, yeah. I mean, you saved me. You definitely saved me. And especially with that patience advice. I mean, if it wasn't for you. And super successful. Oh, it's, it's addicting. You got me totally addicted to this. Okay. I mean, it's, it's uh, come a long way and yeah. it's just, it's something that I love so much. I'm just so hooked now. He's always had the most gorgeous helium. If you remember um, my BioCube tank, all of those corals came from this store right here. Look at that big bushy guy, the young. The thing I love most about the store is like how pristine everything is kept. I mean, so, so nice. Look how big this euphelia is. You just did a water change, but they're huge. I'm so happy right now. I'm so excited that I managed to actually come here in time and check it out. And the fact that he's working here is so awesome. And he remembers me, like what? I can't wait to come back when, you know, it's uh, not 
almost closing time and check out this new layout they have here and all of the pretty euphelia colonies that i already am seeing he's always been known for that so i i see them i see them he's bringing it back and uh, really just happy to see this store well well under a new owner see this store back to life because i love this place it is the roots of how I got started in this hobby and I'm just really excited right now. So let's grab our emerald crabs and uh, head back. I'll give you guys an update on the tank and you know. So quick update while these crabs are acclimating here. Uh, bubble algae. Bubble algae situation is completely out of control at this point, hence the emerald crabs. Um, I've been dosing Vibrant, but you know, I think Vibrant can only do so much when you have piles and piles of bubble algae literally everywhere um so while i was hoping it would be my cure i think the emerald crabs are definitely going to help in this situation in terms of corals everybody's still kicking it um this guy here has grown a lot which is pretty exciting i don't know if you can tell can camera focus he's um looking pretty hot there look at all this growth though you know despite all of this aptasia and bubble algae the corals they keep growing it's amazing um but speaking of aptasia my aptasia has gone down drastically actually with adding those burgias as you guys saw in my last update we only have these like little clusters i know you can't tell um i don't know why my blues are not getting filtered out by my camera here i apologize y'all i lost my train of thought um those little pockets of giant, of giant aptasias, like nay and nay. Um, they're kind of too big for my little burgias to attack at this point in time. But, you know, I hope that when they make babies and they get really big that, you know, they'll be able to conquer those too. Um, <laughs> we also have new forms of algae, believe it or not. Um, yeah, some nice red slime. Everything's kind of closing up for the night, so it's not all that sunshines and rainbows with my corals right now, but um, Euphelia Garden has grown drastically. Same as Zoa Garden, they're kind of closed because they're covered in bubble algae like half of the time, but you know, everybody here is uh, kicking it, ready to have their good nights. Oh, by the way, this acro right here, it came back from the dead, okay? So like it fell down and like, I didn't even know it fell down and I know that's bad, but it like fell in that crevice like over there by that left toe and it fell in that crevice and I didn't even find it it was on its way out it was like totally dead I had no hopes for it coming back and look and look it came back y'all look at that look at that coloration so I'm really happy though with the color of my corals at this point in time because with all of this bubble algae my situation for the longest time was um struggling to keep my nutrients up because the bubble algae was like soaking all of my nutrients up let's come over here it was soaking all my nutrients up and my my corals were getting pale in color but now that I guess the bubble algae disaster is improving a little bit you know they've gained a lot of their beautiful coloration back look at that bubble algae though oh my god that that's good news right that's good news guys guys check this out check this out for a minute bear with me while my camera adjusts do you see that nub growth y'all you see that nub growth look at that sexy nub y'all look at that se sexy nub that is amazing I love it. And look how thick plating Monty, instead of plating out like a normal Monty, just keeps growing and growing into a thicker and thicker boy. It's, <laughs> I don't even know, like three inches, three inches thick at this point in time on one side, like it's chaos. And uh, it keeps making, you know, spreading across little chunks of it all across the tank, which is annoying, but hey, so hit me up if you want any red branchy Monty, I guess. But all in all, it's going good, except that, I mean, it's going good considering. It's also also closed too but I got a holy grail torch yeah. I got a holy grail torch and I wish I could show y'all but I turned off the power heads briefly you can't even see it but it's gold it's gold and it is beautiful it is my baby look how sexy that thing is. can we just take a moment and acknowledge how beautiful this thing is like I love it it's definitely my favorite coral right now yeah everybody's doing pretty well considering except this guy um the dance millie dance if y'all remember the dance millie dance who has grown so much basically he fell down as my camera doesn't want to focus but um basically he fell down he fell down <laughs> he fell down and there's so much bubble algae now on my rock work that he won't like he cannot be glued back like can you see how much glue i have tried to get him like stuck somewhere so he's kind of just like floating 
barely floating on my frag rag right here. So <laughs> I gotta figure out a space again for him because that's pretty pitiful. Pretty bad, I have to say. But I mean, considering I really have not done much to try to save this tank. I mean, I could have done so much more to get rid of this algae situation recently, but I've been so busy. I've been doing like the bare runt minimum of maintenance that I usually do. So what I'm going to do over the next few weeks is actually take this stuff, you know, like we're going to have like a serious game plan to remove all of this in the Aptasia. We're going to have a serious game plan laid out. I'm talking two water changes a week. I'm talking a lot of siphoning of bubble algae. We're going to get this tank cleaned up, y'all. It's just really annoying. But let's do an update on the quarantine tank. The quarantine tank has been up for a month now and it has officially cycled uh, or is very close to being officially cycled because because, you know, the ammonia levels are reading as safe from both the test and the little ammonia checker right here. It's not focusing, but the little ammonia checker from Seachem. And um, we see a little bit of bi diatoms on the bio brick on the bio brick. So the quarantine tank has been doing pretty well. I'm not going to be adding any new fish in, any fish in here for a really long time though, because obviously first thing is first, I need to get the other tank up and running in cycling as well. But things are looking good. By the way, to whoever said that this has a switch on the side of it that turns to white. Can you show me? Because I, oh, I cannot find this switch to save my life. I'm pretty sure I just, I just bought the blue one. <laughs> Yay! So, um, if you could direct me to the light you actually bought, I would appreciate it. But yeah, that's the little cutie tank. Cycle cutie tank. Look at all this salt creep, though. Man, that is disgusting. Oh. Yeah, I gotta fix this guy up, but... Otherwise, he's cycled. He's beautiful. Um, we'll be ready for fish in the future, but I plan on keeping this guy up permanently. Right, Babao? <laughs> So happy that my obscure aquascape design videos are actually helping people. This makes my heart feel warm and I'm excited to dive in with this series further. So I gotta make sure my aquascape is so good that it turns everyone blind. Uh, no pressure or anything. Look, let's get the record straight. While I know the theory of these design principles, I still have two left hands, okay? Design and implementation are two completely different things, right? Ha <laughs> ha, yep, I'm a bit nervous with this one. And I'm pretty sure Ninja Lizard is throwing some shade here, but I still think this comment is hilarious. And oh, I'm glad that somebody didn't over look my joke. You know, as a short person, I tend to get overlooked a lot. 